Hello, welcome back to another video. This is 2E0 IQJ. This week's video, we're going to take a look at the Nano VNA Vector Analyzer. For those playing at home, this is the Nano VNA H4. And I'm going to show you how to set this up for checking the SWR of your antenna, which is probably the main reason, main reason you bought it, what you main thing you want to do with the unit. So your first one you switch on, you'll see all these squiggly lines and lines across the screen. You think, well, what does all this mean? Well, 90% of it we're not actually going to use. So if we tap on the screen, tap on display, tap on trace, and turn traces two and three off. Press back, press back again, and touch the screen. You'll see there, we've got just a simple line grid there. We tap the screen again and press on calibrate because first we need to calibrate the unit and we're going to go to reset and you'll see there got a line across the screen now you want to calibrate the unit and we see we're going to use these one's an open one's a load and one's a short now they're very difficult to see because they're so small so don't lose them because you're going to need them so what i do i'll take a photograph and i'll post what each one does on the screen we're also going to be using this patch cable here so if i click on calibrate and you see here we've got open short load ice through and done and what we're going to do is going to connect the open to channel zero and touch open load to channel zero and touch load and short and touch short and then i'll show you what to do after that so there's the open we're going to touch open and we're going to touch the short Now we're going to touch short. Now we need to touch, click, connect the load and touch load. Now you see it says isolin. We need to add the short to the isolin. Onto channel zero. Again, do this up finger tight and press isolate in now you've got through which is where we're going to use our patch cable we're going to connect the cable to channel one and into channel zero Again, we're going to do our finger type and touch through. Once that's done, you just click on done on the screen. Now it's going to ask you where to save it. So zero, one, two, three, or four. I'm going to save mine in number two. And there we go. We just calibrated the unit. So now I want to test the SWR of my 10 stroke 11 meter antenna. And because these are SMA connections, I have to use an SMA to BNC, so I'm going to connect to channel zero. I'm going to use this cable here, which has got a PL259 uh, BNC adapter. I'm going to connect that to the unit, like this. Okay, and on the screen, we're going to tap the screen, we're going to go back. We're going to go to stimulus and we're going to enter our start frequency. So we're going to click on start and this box appears. This is where you can enter in your frequency. You've got gigahertz, megahertz and kilohertz. So I'm going to enter in 27 megahertz. Now I'll tap the screen again and press stop. I'm going to type in 30 megahertz. You can see there it's now testing the SWR of the antenna. So at 30 megahertz, my antenna, according to this, is 1.6. Now using the dial at the top, we're going to go down and up to see what the SWR is between 27 and 30 megs. Let's go down. So there we go, it's coming down. So it's 29, 370, 1 1.3. 28, 740, 1.23. Starts to creep up again. 28, 
110, 1.4. It's going to 27 megs band at 27,660, a bit high, 1.68, and 1.9 or over 2 on 27,060. Now it's not brilliant for 10, uh, 11 meters, but it's more or less okay for 10 meters. Maybe that's what I've tuned it for. You don't just have to do a 10 meter antenna or 11 meter antenna. If you press on the display, go to start and enter in another frequency, say what one, four, four megahertz. Touch on stop and enter in one, four, six megahertz. Connect your aerial, you can test the SWR for your antenna on the two meter band. You can do anything up to 1.5 gigahertz. So that was how to calibrate this nano VNA and how to check the SWR of your antenna. If you found the video of some use, you know what to do, give it a thumbs up. But if you don't like the video, the other button seems to work too. But as always, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. This is 2E0 IQJ73.